Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13 and verse 10. Luke chapter 13 and verse 10. Glory to God. Luke chapter 13 and verse 10. You ready to go with me? Uh-huh. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity. Eighteen years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when she saw her, and when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from that infirmity. Ah, I feel God right there. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered, Indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work, in them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. And the Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, do not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox and his asses and from the stall and lead him away to the watering. And ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham and of Abraham whom Satan had bound, sorry I can hardly see, Oh my God, you all have to give the old woman more light. Bound, love these 18 years, be loose from his bond on the Sabbath day. Verse 17. And when he had said these things, all his adversities were ashamed. And all the people rejoiced. For all the glorious things that were done by him. I want to use for our subject tonight. You are loose to stand up straight. Oh nobody not screaming. Somebody need to give God some praise and some glory and some honor. You are loose to stand up straight. Somebody look at about four or five people and tell them it's not going to be long from now. Mm, nobody not saying that. Come on, open your mouth and say it's not going to be long. Uh, I want you to know that this passage is all about how Jesus can set us free. It's about freedom. It's about Moving from a situation that looks long and look like it have no ending to another place where you can look back and see how God favors you. As we watch him deliver the sick woman from the bondage of sickness, we get a picture of what he can do for us as we start to uh, move into the realm of the spirit. If we will come to a place in our life and realize that we were not born to be like this. Uh, only about two people. We were, we were not born to be like this. 
and I could almost finish preaching and pronounce the benediction because sometimes we try to preach a long sermon when the truth of the matter is we just want to tell somebody you were not born to be like this. I want somebody to look your neighbor in the eyes and say, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what storm in your life. I don't care your past. I don't care what is happening. You were not born to be like this. If you could go back into time you will understand that that you were born to be come on sober you were born to be healed you were born to be blessed you were born to be fruitful you were born to be healthy you were not born to be like this and so uh, let me say to you that now uh, the woman experienced uh, what we call the torment she endured Everybody have a little bit of torments in their life. Whether you cover it up, whether you bandage it up, whether you dress it up, whether you lash it up, whether you come on somebody, whether you braid it up or you sew it in. Everybody have a little torments in their life. And somebody just to praise God uh, that you could cover it up, but you're coming out of this. Uh, somebody come on, shout, I'm coming out of this. She was afflicted physically. This, this, this was a woman who was in severe physical pain, physical pain. Her body was bent double at her waist. Surely every day was a struggle for her. She, she found herself in a physical condition that prevented her from looking up. You may not have a physical, physical problem. But some of us got some nasty past and some messy condition that make us come walk with our head up. We have to be hiding our face because of the situation. But I come to drop a bombshell that God is about to pull us up from that situation and we will never have to walk with our heads down anymore God is gonna make our head be lifted up above our enemies somebody in the situation why don't you start screaming up in here I see the Holy Ghost start putting his hand under your chin oh come on somebody oh come on oh nobody didn't hear me I said I see the Holy Ghost start putting his hand under your chin and giving you a help oh yes sir and said Lift up your head. Oh, lift up your head. It may hurt you, but lift up your head. It may wound you, but lift up your head. It may make you have some scars, but lift up your head. It may, it may make you have to walk in some shovel, shame, but lift up your head. Somebody, come on, tell about four people and say, I, I don't care what it looks like, lift up your head. Oh, nobody that's screaming when they say, lift up your head, lift up your head. <laughs> prevent her from looking up she could not be her own power uh, overcome her condition sadly many have found themselves in that spiritual state in which they cannot look up either totally unable to see the past the torment uh, that they are experiencing in their lives note if you are in the Lord's hand, it may look long, but it's going to, it's going to come to pass. If you, come on, I don't know how many of you, but if you're in God's hand, and if you're serving a mighty God, and if you're serving an everlasting father, the king of kings and the Lord of lords, and you're a good worshiper, I'm not talking about a church worshiper. I'm talking about a good worshiper. There's a difference between a church worshiper and a God worshiper. People worship in the church. 
pretend and depend on how they feel. If they're on a good day, they worship good. That's a church worshiper. But, but, but if, you, if, 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 if you know that even when you bend over, you still have a worship in your heart. That's a kingdom worshiper. Don't tell me if you worship God, God won't come through for you. And I come all the way from New Jersey to tell somebody, I don't care what it looks like. Uh, just worship God through it. Uh, oh, nobody not say nothing. I can't get nobody over here. Over here is a little bit light. Over here is a little bit lighter. Oh, somebody, don't matter what it looks like. You may bend over for a minute. Uh, you may bend over for a season. You may bend over for a couple of years. Uh, this was an 18 years experience. Uh, but God is not finished with you yet. Uh, so even if you have to bend over, uh, I, I, I want your praise to come up. Uh, if you bend over, I want your worship to come up. Uh, oh God, God Almighty, I feel a dance right there. Uh, if you bend over, I want your dance to come up. Uh, if you bend over, I need your dedication to come up. Uh, if you bend over, I need your commitment to come up. I don't know if you've been over. What is it? It could be a physical thing. It could be a spiritual battle. It could be a financial battle. It could be a pain, a mental battle. But whatever it is, I come to tell you, your bending over is about to be expired. Sometimes you bend over. It's for the glory of God. Nobody don't like me here. It's not everything that happened to you in life. It's, 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 it's all about devil. Not everything that happened to you in life is all about, uh, come on, it, 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 God don't love you. Everything that happened in you in life, it look messy and it look like it don't look good. Uh, but it's not all about, come on somebody, about you. God sometimes uh, have to put some things on you. Ask brother Job. Uh, Job had to go through some things uh, so that everybody will know that God blessed the latter part. Uh, oh, somebody shout, I come to drop something in here. Your latter part is going to be more blessed uh, than the beginning of something. Uh, and if you bend over in the beginning, uh, you just go ahead and praise God. Uh, why don't so, uh, I know you want me to go. I know you want me to go. Somebody come on, give God a praise and glory. Uh, oh, somebody lift up your hand. Uh, I know you bend over. Uh, you bend over into some things. Uh, you bend over into some pain. You bend over into some emotional pain. Uh, you bend over into some spiritual pain. Uh, you go through some things uh, and you can't tell everybody about it. Uh, but if you bend over, God will bend you back over and lift up your head. Oh, come on above the circumstances. I need about 30 of you who will jump up out of your seat and say, I'm about to stand up straight. Ah, oh, what has bent me? What has broken me? Oh, somebody not screaming up in here. The thing that break me, the thing that made me bend over, the thing that wounded me, the thing that made me cry. It was in your affliction when the Lord came through. It was in your affliction when the Lord said, I'm going to bless you above and not beneath. Oh, nobody not screaming me. You need to look back over into your affliction and lift up your hand and say, Lord, I was glad when it was afflicted me. I was glad when that thing afflicted than me. If it did not do me that, I would not be able to lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence come my help. Somebody do a little dance right there and said it was good to be afflicted. I don't know if you like me yet, but if you don't like me yet, I'm not coming to preach no sim a pity party to you tonight. I come to let you know in your 
bending over. I want a praise from you. In your bend over, I need a faith launching out of you. In your bend over, I want you to write your book. Oh, come on, somebody. Since I sat here tonight, uh, a book just dropped in my spirit. Soar like an eagle. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Soar. Come on, tell about two, three people that say soar like an eagle. Because of time, I can't go into all of the precious thing the Holy Ghost downloaded in my spirit. But I want you to know that not only that she was in a place of torment, uh, she, was a, uh, she was in physical pain, but she also was in physical, she was affected socially. No doubt because of her condition, this woman was considered to be, come on somebody, a place in isolation. Nobody wants to be around her. People in those, they isolate her. People in those days when you're sick, they keep distance from you. Nobody not hear me. She was, she was at that place uh, looking like an outcast. Uh, uh, was probably unwanted, un, unloved. Uh -huh. uh, uh, she was uh, the kind of person, amen, would avoid on the street. Nobody not hearing me. We see them and we pass them. Some people bend over, we pass them. Some people look dirty, we pass them. Nobody not talking to me. Somebody, we will not pick them up in our car, no, and even take them in our house. Uh, so she was now at the place of being an outcast. Mm -hmm. she was not just there but she was depressed oppressed she was rejected and maybe she became bitter the enemy will use those things to trap us and think it is over let me see the hands of those who one time in your life just thinking of just throwing up your hands, throw in the towel and call it quit. I don't care what it is. Don't, 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 don't pretend in here. Uh, uh, you're too pretty. Uh, anybody been there done that? I've been there done that. Uh, that I felt the the and the outcasts and the loneliness and depression and the people uh, come on somebody pretending as if they like you but they don't like you they're folding come on somebody because they don't like your bent over situation people can handle you when you bent over people will leave you bending over because they cannot associate themselves with your situation. But tell somebody in your role, don't write me off yet. There's a miracle God coming right now. Oh, only about 10 of you right here, sir. I just need about five. Somebody come on, shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm still bending over, but don't write me off yet. And, 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 and tell your neighbor, by the way, this month is September. Oh, come on, somebody. This month is a ninth month, so in every ninth month, there's a change in the womb. Huh? Somebody praise the name. Somebody scream up in here like you're losing your mind. Somebody look up, come on, come on, come on. Tell, tell your neighbor, but by the way, by the way, if you did not know that today is the eighth day, come on, somebody is a new beginning, and the nine month is a delivery month. So I'm in a new beginning for a delivery. Oh, somebody better scream up in here. I'm in a So, so, uh, watch this. To me, she was one of the most powerful pictures of faith 
and faithfulness in the New Testament. She has been in a condition for 18 years. If she had been to the synagogue every Sabbath for those 18 years, she would attend some 1,000 meeting. There she has been sick for 18 years. She has not been healed. Still she believed in God. You didn't get it. She would have been to church for 1,000 mashataya. But every time she go to church, she walk in bent over and she walk up bent over. But when God ready to release you from that condition, you don't have to be in a church. You could be just driving and the Lord deliver you. You could be in the supermarket and the Lord deliver you. You could be, come on, flying on a plane and the Lord deliver you. I don't know where you're going to get your miracle, but don't become to connect with the house. Uh, connect with the almighty God. Why don't you shout like you're losing your mind? Somebody didn't get it. It fly over your head. Uh, somebody show glory to God. God is not subject to building. He's subject to a command, a covenant uh, relationship. Why don't you let me preach? Say, preach, black woman, preach. Oh, somebody praise the name of the Lord. I said, God is not subject. Oh, come on, to a day of the week. He is not subject to Sabbath day. He is not subject to Sunday morning. He is not subject. Hey, come on, somebody. And I come to tell some of y'all believe that God is going to give us some miracles, not on a Sunday morning, because there are too many hypocrites on a Sunday morning. Oh, come on, somebody. Ah, oh, your enemy might be there when I said the morning, but when God blesses you, somebody who was not there is gonna get the news flash that the Lord come on the Lord the Lord the Lord the Lord the Lord the Lord somebody said the Lord the Lord just bless me the Lord just open up a door the Lord just take me out of my torment the Lord just take me out of my situation the Lord look at you look at you look at you you see you see you have to believe it to catch it somebody come on touch your neighbor and say the Lord the Lord is coming through for you there's somebody there's some of us that God will not let our enemies have one more laugh over us. There's some of us that God will not let nobody sit down and tear us up no more. Ah, oh, nobody don't like me, but I'm going to preach it anyway. The Lord will not allow anybody to think it is over with us and that we are dying in shame because the Lord says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken not the seed I like you begging bread the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life whom whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even my enemies and my foe came upon me to eat of my flesh the Bible said they will stumble and they will fall come on somebody oh, the righteous will fall seven times but he shall rise seven times oh somebody the praise the name of the Lord. I come to tell somebody you are about to get up. I don't care what you're in, you're getting up out of it. Somebody come on, I like you over here. Touch your name as a neighbor. His story is not yet finished. I like you. Oh, you said I'm preaching good. Well, you better better say, let them hear one more time because I'm, I'm about to tell the devil I'm going to stay right here for one second because somebody think it's over, but it's not over yet. Somebody, his story is not yet finished. Come on, somebody, tell the neighbor, don't close the book yet. The chapter might be finished, but the story is not yet finished. Somebody scream up in here. I said, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, the chapter might be finished, but the story... Woman, thou art loose. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. I, I, I said this, and somebody still sitting down. Woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. Ah, uh, nobody over here, and I said nothing up in here. I, I 
got to come back over here and say, woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. Man, thou art loose from your situation. I'm not only talking to the women tonight. I want every man in the house to know that God is about to set you on high. Oh, somebody, you are loose. I want everybody to open up your mind and say, I'm loose out of this. 18 years, the synagogue could not fix me. The priest could not fix me. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. But God have a set time. Oh, it's a set time. Somebody said my set time. Sometimes you're looking for the church to do it for you. And the church is not able to do it. But don't give up on God. For he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, somebody, I wish I could say. Somebody open up your mind and tell he's able. Eighteen years, eighteen years, it's a long time. Some of you are going through some things a long time. And you wonder if there is any easing into the situation. How many of you can testify about that? That some things have been going on for such a long time. Amen, somebody, when the enemy cannot touch me, he touched my seed. And when he can't touch my seed, come on, he touched the ministry. And when he can't touch the ministry, come on, somebody, he touched your physical health. But I come to tell everybody tonight that God is about to reset and restore back your life like nothing has been broken. You are going to stand up and walk straight. I want everybody to stand up and square your shoulder and say, this is how I'm coming out of it. This is how I'm coming. Oh, nobody not hearing me. This is how I'm coming out of it. Oh, oh, oh look at you. Look at it. Open your mouth and say, this is how I'm coming out. Oh, God, I feel a, I feel a preaching up in here. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Whatever it is that bend you over to your waist, bend you over to your shame, bend you over to your discouragement, bend you over to your depression, bend you over to your brokenness. God said the chapter, the chapter close but the story continues because there is a miracle at the end of the story. Somebody not screaming with me. Not everybody is going to come out. You see, we preach stories sometimes, we preach messages sometimes, but do we understand that it's not everybody going to come out like the patriarchs, the apostles, amen? Not every one of us coming out like, see, I don't believe that God is going to break my hip to give me blessing. Only about two people understand. See, see, I love to preach that story, but I don't believe that the grace and the mercy season I'm in, that even if I messed up, that God have to break me up. <laughs> See, nobody don't want me. So those of you in the church praying that God mash up some people, you need to change the way you pray. Somebody not praise the name of the Lord. The same power that you have to pray to, Lord, mash them up so they come to you. Mash them up. I don't tell the God to mash up my children. I tell God to do a divine intervention. Oh, nobody not hear what I say. You better be careful what you say out of your mouth. You don't want God mash up your children and they don't have no use to themselves. You don't want God mash up your children and they have to be pushing in a wheelchair. Oh, nobody not screaming. I'm in here. Do what you please. Alamosha. Come on, put your hand up in here and tell the Lord, do what you please. There is nothing too hard for God. But, but here is the thing. Here is the thing. 18 years. One other 
was 12 years the woman with the issue of blood 12 years so God does not move by your time that's what messing you up the moment you pray and you don't see it happen you come in the church with a dead praise I like you Pastor Lee the moment you pray and fast and it don't work the way you think it should work being bent over didn't stop the woman from going in the synagogue every time nobody not screaming up in here she was very persistent she was determined eh, that listen uh, whatever it is uh, that you're not ready to make me bend over back uh, i still gonna praise you sometimes uh, the lord has to make you go through a season of time uh, so that you know it's not man do it uh, uh, he wait until some people leave you alone uh, nobody not screaming up in here uh, oh god good god almighty i gotta finish uh, i gotta finish i gotta finish somebody i know you said finish now because uh, I gotta go to work in the morning uh, and I understand that uh, but I like you sister mercy uh, you said go ahead uh, give me five more minutes then uh, 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 sometimes uh, God have to wait until some people st pass their judgment uh, and leave your friendship uh, people cannot be around you when nothing moving uh, people cannot be around you when you're not looking good uh, people cannot be around you when you're not driving the Mercedes Benz anymore that's why I choose my friends wisely and I really don't have Nobody see it. See, I'm not like oh, y'all. Everybody, you see, that's my friend. That's my friend. I, I don't do that, baby. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be careful. Somebody shall have you. You wanna belong so much. You are suffering from a spirit called intimidation. And uh, something else, something else. Uh, insecurity. You wanna belong in everybody's friendship, baby. I'm not belonging to everybody crowd. I am very, very, very peculiar who I talk to because come on somebody you see you keep far from me in my Benova situation you keep a distance from me in my Benova situation so I come to tell you when the Lord deliver me and put me into my success you better stay far from me I don't need you I'm not preaching, Minister Powell, man Powell, your pastor, she's the minister. Oh, somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody, you see, see, you see, you see, let them keep you at a distance. Let them treat you like the lepers. But don't move from the gate. That's another message all by itself. <laughs> I like you. You got it. You, you, you're good. You're good. You're quick learner. Oh, come on. Let them treat you like a what? But don't move from the gate. You going home to drop that in the field, drop that in the field, drop it in the field, drop it in the field. Huh? Somebody praise the name of God. Let them treat you like a leper. But sit at that gate. Because when you get into your tent, you're coming out loaded. God is, I gotta go back again. Everybody, you see, and, and, and they believe, they believe that you're really jealous of their friendship with everybody. I don't know, I don't know why they think so. I'm not, 
So they're telling you, you should see me hanging out with so and so. Name brand. Go ahead and hang out with name brand. I am hanging out with Jesus at the gate. I'm bent over, but I'm hanging out with Jesus. Because in due season, Jesus is going to give me what I desire for my situation. I come all the way from New Jersey to tell the waters and tell living word and tell the women and tell the pastors and their wives that God is about to give you a second chance. Oh, come on, somebody to experience what miracle looks like. Oh, nobody not running with that. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. You see, come on, somebody. You know, God. God heard the silenceness of some people, George. They heard, they said, uh-huh. She's talking about she's not going to be no more lawyer, George. Uh, who fool her? She's false. And so when they whisper, God, take those words. Come on, somebody. And turn it into a miracle to silence your enemy. God said to tell you, I'm about to silence your enemy. Because people is going to watch you not bend over no more. You're going to walk straight. Oh, somebody, your hands going to be lifted up. Oh, somebody praise the name of the Lord. Some people don't want to hang out with me. That's fine. Hang out with the name brand. Hang out with the people who know name. But I'm hanging out with Jesus. I said it again. I want about 20 of you just jump up and said, as of this night, I'm going to hang out with Jesus. For I need a miracle in my life. I need a miracle in my house. I need a miracle in my ministry. I need a miracle in my mind. And God is going to come through for you. The race is not for the swim. Uh -huh. The race is not for the swim. Neither the battle for the strong. But if you can endure in your affliction. Oh God, I feel like preaching up in here. Uh, uh, uh. Listen, listen. There's one real pastor that you're ever going to get is me. Come on, somebody. And this is what I want to tell you. That there are times in my life that I start to have pity party and sorrow for myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. Mm -hmm. Because you thought that you are serving God so good. You thought. Not that you're perfect, but you thought that you have been so consistent in your worship. You pay your tithes. You come to prayer meeting, but you still bend over. You're still not making headways. And the people who don't even come to church. The people who don't pray as often as you do look like they're flourishing and that their family doing well. But the Lord says to tell you in this woman's conference, don't be subject to time. Because I am not subject by time. I am allowing you to go through for a reason. For there is a glory in the situation. I see it, baby. I see, see, see. There is a, there is a, I'm still preaching. But when he hit me, I have to, there is a glory in the situation. So God said, I'm working on your miracle and I'm about to bend you back over <laughs> he said the first thing you need to watch out for is that you're not suffering weight loss anymore you're putting on weight that mean that wish was sucking you dry <laughs> it, uh, no longer have the power mm. you have passed that stage now I'm preparing you for something brand new 
somebody come on he said this thing that I'm preparing is going to be brand new and never again will you experience a bent over situation why don't somebody scream I feel like coming low somebody praise the name of the Lord Jesus somebody come on give God some praise and some glory I feel it now I'm almost done somebody praise the name of the Lord come on somebody come I want you to look at your neighbor and say neighbor I can't tell you my story I can't tell you what bent me over I can't tell you what made me keep up at night but there is something that I want you to know that what used to be over my head is no longer over my head, it's under my feet and I dare you to jump up and turn out and say it's under my feet you see, when you were bent over, you could not touch your feet when you bent over you could not look up but if you can look up now it means that God already fixed the situation oh come on, I feel the praise up in here I want everybody to say neighbor I am going to come out of this bed over thing I'm coming over I'm about to be blessed I'm about to have good health I'm about to have good success I'm about to do better I'm moving from that house I'm about to buy another house I'm moving from that job I'm about to get another job why don't you prophesy that I'm about to buy a massacre. I'm about to buy another house. I'm about to drive another car. I'm about to come on somebody to have another praise testimony. I see about 20 of you with a praise testimony, and it won't be very long. It will not be next year either. Why don't you scream like you're losing your mind? It will not be next year. Oh, somebody help me. You know I'm almost done. I'm about to have a praise testimony. Anybody ready for your praise testimony? I was bending over like the woman for 18 years. I was bending over. Oh, come on, somebody. For 18 years, I was bending over. Only God knows. I cried myself to bed. I cried. Anybody cried himself to bed? Why don't you talk like you really know? You're out of the woods now. You cry yourself to bed. You cry yourself to bed. You don't know how much cup of tea you make for the night. Nobody don't talk to me. You don't know how many times I wake up and feel like packing my bags. Nobody knows. See, some people cannot shout with you because they don't know. Some people don't know because you don't learn to hang your mess on the line. We keep some stuff. I don't like how some Christians can talk about their mess so much with every and anybody. Learn. Nobody don't hear me, y'all. You have to learn to keep some things to yourself. Somebody not talking to me up in here. Only about 10 people over here. Is the, you got to learn to keep your bent over condition to yourself. And have faith in God that he's going to fix it. And the way he's going to fix it, I'm not coming out like Jacob. I'm coming out blessed, but I'm not coming out with a broken hip because nobody will know how wounded I was. Somebody shout hallelujah because they will not understand that I am already delivered. All they're going to talk about is my broken hip. Oh, nobody that's good. They're not going to see a blessing. All they're going to see is your broken hip. So God's 
said, I will not make you come out broken. I will not make you come out with a broken hip. I'll make you coming out with your hands lifted up. Somebody not screaming with me. Stop can I preach up in here? I, I dear ten women to lift up your hands. I said, this is how I'm coming out. <laughs> can I preach later, right up? Somebody praise the name of the Lord. This is, oh, 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 I need another 10. Oh, Pastor Lee, I wasn't going to lift your hand and move out, sis. I said, tell everybody, this is how I'm coming out. You heard about my brokenness. You heard about my story. You heard about my mess. Oh, come on, nobody don't like me up in here. Say, preach, black woman preacher. You heard about all the situation that I've been in. You heard about it. You and about 20 of the ladies have coffee over the house and I was the topic oh nobody not saying that I was the topic for me I'm a little older now I haven't seen it so long I put on some age but I still have some dancing in my feet somebody praise the name of the Lord they have some ladies over their house said they're having tea party and ice cream and I was the subject I was the topic of discussion. So when you finish talking about me, how can you pray for me? Bid your hypocrisy. Coming into church in the morning, talking about the Lord said, the Lord said, to pray for you. You should have called the tea party. You should have shipped the prayer meet the tea party to prayer meeting. But I was the topic of discussion. But what you did not know is that God favored me in the discussion. Somebody, oh, nobody not said nothing up in here. I, I need about, I need to tell about 10 people and say, God favored me in the topic. Oh, come on, in the topic of the discussion, God said, watch out, I'm going to mash up the party. Oh, somebody pray, I'm going to disappoint the party. Oh, nobody not screaming up in here. Well, I, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to bend back over. I'm going to bend back over. I'm going to bend back over. Oh, somebody pray. Praise the name of the Lord. I've been bent over for 18 years, but God is about to straighten me out. Oh God, I feel about 10 of you. He said to drop this in here. He's about to straighten you out. Somebody scream. He's about to straighten the situation out. You believe? That's the word I hear. That's the word I'm hearing from the Lord. He said to tell you, I'm about to straighten the situation out. Uh, only about 10 of you over the back. <laughs> uh, Lord, I feel such a revival in here. I feel a woman's conference in here. God said, I'm about to straighten the situation out. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what you're going through. Whether it's a physical, whether it's a spiritual, but mental, financially. Come on, somebody, whatever it is. The Lord said, you don't have to worry about it. I'm about to straighten the situation out. Somebody better help me up in here. I'm about to straighten 
Lord, 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 look at you, look at you. The Lord is about to straighten the situation out. I feel administering coming on. Can I go there? Oh, somebody shout glory to God. I'm about to straighten. Anybody have a situation in here? Then you never done talk to me yet. I'm in position for God to straighten it out. After 18 years been over, it's time for the situation to be straightened out. Oh, somebody praise God. I'm about to straighten it out. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody better let me preach in here. I'm about to straighten it out. I'm about to straighten out that boy. I'm about to straighten out that girl. I'm about to straighten out. Oh, come on, nobody. That's a, I'm about to straighten out your enemies. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. I'm going to straighten that thing out. off it. Everybody come on move your hand. I said I take my hands off it. Somebody come on I want you to do something like this. I'm done with it. Oh, Nobody don't want me to preach here. I'm done with it. Come on mama mama. I'm done with it. I'm not fighting this battle. I'm done. I'm done talking about it. I'm done crying about it. I'm done complaining about it. Oh, come on, somebody, it bent me over so bad that I cannot look up, but I'm done. Because the Lord now is going to straighten it out. He's going to straighten it out. Somebody pray the name of the Lord. He's going to straighten it out. I want you to run to about three sisters and say, the Lord said to tell you, I'm going to straighten it out. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Run to somebody else. Come on, get up, get up and run. And, and speak under the power of the Holy Ghost. And tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God said, Said, uh, to tell you uh, I'm going to straighten it out uh, good God almighty uh, I'm going to straighten it out uh, well you don't know what else to do I'm going to straighten it out uh, I don't know what else to do I'm going to straighten it out I did all I could I pray over it I go to church I cry I fast oh come on somebody but God said God said, Judge, God said, you're not judging here tonight. You're a child of God. Because what they don't know, judge have situation to be straightened out. Man of God, woman of God, pastors, apostles, doctors, somebody that prays in the name of the Lord, president, come on somebody, oh Lord have mercy, the Queen Elizabeth died and they have things to straighten out, oh nobody not said nothing up in here, everybody in a place where God have to straighten it up. I'm not pretending no more. And I'm not going to allow it to take the best of me. I'm going to get back my smile. I'm going to get back my joy. I come to tell every woman in here, get back your joy, because God already on the straightening out part. Oh, somebody praise it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, somebody praise it. He's going to straighten it out. He's going to straighten it out so good that when they see you, oh, Shabakusa. since I may not touch this tomorrow night, there's a because I'm going somewhere, he's going to straighten it out so good that when the brothers of Joseph saw him, God is going to straighten you out so good and repositioning you. So 80 
15 years been taken away from you God says when I do the restoration you are going to get 36 years blessing for the 18 years that you have been messed up only about 10 people up in here you're not running up in here God is going to give you turn come on somebody come on somebody oh God, look at you look at you you're too nice 36 years a blessing for 18 years done before your pain done before your trouble somebody shout hallelujah that's why everybody said how oh, you look so young oh come on somebody I tell them it's double to Osama he's renewing my youthful days so that I can get the blessing and enjoy it in my days oh somebody shout glory to God I need you to help me I'm a, come on double 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 everybody cry out double 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 I've been bent over 18 years but God is going to double the favor of God in this season don't underestimate the power of God in this season amen somebody because God said I see your pain I've seen your affliction I see how they laugh at you I see how they mocked you I see how they call the tea party and see how they eat and you were the topic I see all the things they say I heard it with my ears somebody shout glory to God because what they don't know I am an unseen guest of every conversation you don't invite me but I showed up oh somebody praise the name of the Lord why don't you scream like you're losing your mind and I heard I heard the discussion I heard the plot oh come on somebody I heard the plot so when God ready to bless you the people that was telling their friends you are going to see people that used to be bona fide friends trying to be your friend because God is going to make them know it was a chapter but was not the end of the story I see somebody coming out I see somebody going through I see somebody pack a suitcase your suitcase pack I see the, the suitcase pack into a corner you're not moving because you heard God you did not hear God you heard your flesh you're running from your pain God said go back home and unpack that suitcase you're not going nowhere go back home and pack you are not going nowhere I am going to bless you right in your pain I'm about to take you out of your condition and restore the years. That the locust, the conquer worm, former worm has eaten. I am gonna restore back to you. Unpack, go home and get your stuff out of the suitcase. I think I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get myself out of here the Lord said no you're not gonna get yourself out of here you're gonna stay right here because I'm gonna promote you 
in the midst of the situation. You have already asked your friend to look an apartment for you. You have already made a phone call. I need you to look around for me because I, I feel my time expire. The Lord said, no way. He said, I have an office that I'm doing a redundancy. In other words, I am taking people from that office. Relocate them so you can take their space. And you're about to shaka masiya, makosi kibe, masha kuriya, masi kuriya. I have already saw you saw. You already saw some people already moving. You have already <laughs> see God rearranging some things that you don't quite understand. Why is he doing this? He said, don't slap me in my face. I'm doing it for you. I am rearranging things for you. Stay focused because I'm going to not just give you an office, but I'm going to give you a supervisor position to oversee everything in that office. Don't you go nowhere. Don't you get frustrated. God, I don't know who I'm talking to. God said, I'm getting ready to set you up big time. I'm getting ready to shift and change and rearrange. I see two people in here. I want you to come. You know who I'm talking. I I see, I see you getting frustrated, but come, 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 because there is going to be an email sent to you. Come on, do. Ashaba, you stand right here and you stand right here. Oh, shock. Nobody not screaming with me, but I feel a rearrange. Somebody shout glory to God. Mando, are you, are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, you see some things start shifting, but you don't quite understand it because you're in so much pain. Mm. Huh. The pain bend you over so you can't see what God is doing. Mm. I feel a shift. Somebody pray for, pray for, pray, 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 pray. You're so broken, something happened. Somebody lied on you. And you missed the opportunity when you should get it. But tonight, it will come back to you, but coming back better. Why don't you scream up in here for her? Come on, somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody come on, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. It's coming back to her better. Oh, shada da da la basato rababa babasata. It's coming back to her better. Uh, you will hear about it. You will hear about it. You will hear about it in the bush. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's gonna come back to you. Put your hands up. This is how you're coming out of it. Way up. Put your hands way up. This is how you're coming out of it. This is how you coming out of it. With your hands. Lift it up. And your mouth. Fill with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving God says the year will not be finished until I show you favor on that job oh somebody praise the name of the Lord 
Uh, I, I need anybody needs salvation, put your hand up. Anybody needs salvation, put your hand up. You're not saved. I want you to put your hand up. I want to pray with you. Amen. Anybody needs salvation, put your hand up. Put your hand up if you're not a Christian. I want to pray with you tonight. I want to pray with you tonight. If you're not a Christian, I want you to come to if you planning and dying tomorrow night, don't die. Oh, somebody praise the name of the Lord. I want I hear God. I have not done this in years. I've not done it because I know it's a set time and a season for some things. I've not done this, but I heard the Lord says, tell my people in this woman's conference, get themselves, hallelujah, a piece of white cloth with a red writing on it, and you must put down seven things that you want God to do before the year, and you're going to stick it off every day. Every two weeks, you're going to stick it off. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Nobody not screaming up in here. Get yourself a piece of uh, white cloth and put it in the red writing. Only you going to keep it. You're going to keep it even when you get the miracle. You're still going to keep it because you're going to see the goodness of God. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Why don't you lift up your hand and say, Lord, I, I give you advance praise for what is going to be on that cloth. It's going to be a testament of the goodness of God. Somebody praise and oh, somebody shout up in here. Glory to God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody praise him up in here. Good God Almighty, I feel a revival coming. My God, my God, my God, my God. And God said, I'm not done with you yet. God said, I'm not done with you yet. He said, he said, I'm not done with you yet. He said, there's a foundation. He said, the name of the foundation is going to come to you in a dream. See, see, it's a foundation where a lot of money is going to pour into that foundation. I see millions of young people walking through the foundation. I see you getting properties for the foundation. I see the foundation. He said, I'm not done with it yet. He said, I, I, I don't even know if it's about 10 years or 15 years I, I gave you the prophecy. He said, no, I am giving you another dream to manifest quickly. You're going to get the name of this foundation. A lot of politicians going to walk through the foundation. Good God Almighty. This is the only one I want to be a part of. Because I am as sure as this Thursday night, the eighth day, that God is already preparing you because you're wondering what when I'm done with this job what do you want me to do he said it's time now when you finish when I'm done with you I am going to give you a foundation oh Shabasa and people men, young ladies and men going to walk through that foundation and they are going to be getting scholarship through the foundation you are going to give them uh, you don't talk to me but you are putting things on paper and this is is what you want to do. This is your dream. This is what you want to do. Amen. Somebody. So the Lord is saying, uh, don't put all your energy uh, and finish it out. Uh, because when I'm done with this foundation, uh, oh, somebody praise the name of the Lord, the foundation. Oh, somebody shall glory to God. And, and, and one of the things that you said, you made the devil jack up your daughter. You are never going to make nobody jack up another young girl with such great potential. With such such great uh, nobody not running I gotta go I gotta go somebody I gotta go get the mic from me cuz you all don't keep church so late only New York and Jersey
enemy make you pave the way being a judge and connect you being a judge but don't get carried away being the judge because that's the paving of what is to come ministry gonna bloom in that foundation somehow you don't call to pastor no church you don't call to be no bishop that's not what you crave for you just want people life to be transformed and you just want people life to be delivered you just want to see young people go to school and get their education you're big on education transformation coming transformation coming transformation coming and some of you in here are going to work in the foundation give me that rug is the bishop rug is that the bishop rug can I use your rug son God, they got to make it just like this for you again. Because I'm going to give it away, Pastor Aura, Sir P. Walters. So you will see your rug in the foundation, one of the office. Frame it and keep it and watch it as a testament. Oh, it's not because it's not you why you can't dump and die. Listen, listen, if you can praise God for somebody, God will make it happen for you. Oh, somebody not hearing me. If you can praise God for somebody, God will make it happen for you. Oh, somebody, come on, I feel a hold. Oh, shabababa satoraba. Oh, shatama kotolobo satata yabo shata. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. My God Almighty. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Oh Lord, have mercy. Somebody, come on, come on, it's a blessing. Stand to your feet and let me close hand over the mic. Stand to your feet, everybody. Stand to your feet, stand to your feet. Somebody, come on, I want to pray. A matter of fact, I'm trying to shift it, but the Lord said, I, I want you to pass my, pass my phone. Oh, it's not. No, 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 I think I have a, I need a hundred dollars somewhere in my, the Lord said, put my first hundred dollars in the foundation. If it's 20 years to come, don't use my money. It's a testament. Right in the back of my phone, you see a hundred dollars somewhere there. Look, look right at the back. Man, I, I, I put that hundred dollar for my seed. You don't see a hundred dollars in there? You know, yes, I know. I got a, I got money high somewhere. Somebody praising them. See, see. How many of you will remember this? The Lord is going to give you the name. Start to write it down. Put my money. As he give you the name, you put my $100 seed. Because the foundation is going to take not just Fort Lauderdale. Somebody has just joined me. Somebody just joined me. Somebody believe the Lord. It's not just... Fort Lauderdale, it's not just Miami, as far as West Palm Beach, as much as Fort Pierce, you are driving back and forth because big thing operation going on. It was good that you was afflicted. Somebody, come on, I put this in. It was good that you are afflicted. It was good that you, oh my God, somebody is so into the foundation. They, they know you don't need that money. It's not you. Oh, come on, somebody, you don't need it. But that's for the foundation because God said, I have buildings and buildings and buildings. And everywhere everybody go, they know that that related to foundation. I'm gonna sow my, I'm gonna sow my seed in this women's conference now. 
I hope you guys do swipe. So I'm gonna ask you, how many of you believe that it's gonna be a continuation of miracles tomorrow night? Somebody not hearing me. Something about a building, 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 a building. Something about the building. I release what has been held up for years. I release tonight that your money will be released. There's some money that should be released and it has been held up. Every time they're giving you a run around about this thing, it is no longer being a running around. I call it in because you said you have to do kingdom now. Kingdom. Release that money. Shato Boseke Basoto Masia. Mando Kolia Satamondiasa. I'm not going to go into the depths for everybody to know your business. But there's a, there's a, there's a, a release now. It's a stronghold on it. They keep telling you different things. But in the name of Jesus tonight, I speak favor over the release. Come on, all the members for this, Pastor. Come on. You are going to see it. You're going to see it. Release in Jesus' name. Anybody need Jesus tonight? I need about 10 of you, 20 of you to help me sow the seed in this conference. Just help me tonight. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my card and I'm going to give my seed of $100. I need about 20 of you who will run quickly with that seed right now. Amen, somebody. Every time I sow, my harvest get bigger. So I love to sow. Every time I sow, my harvest get bigger. And that makes me, encourage me to sow that you never can, you cannot outgive God. I want you to, amen, I want you to come down with your seed. And I want you to sow. Get my, get my card, get my card. Just get my wallet out of it. Somebody, come on, I need, I need about 20 of you. Let me see 20 of you hands go up and said, I'm gonna sow. I'm gonna sow with you, woman of God. I'm gonna sow into this conference. Let me see the hand, I just, just a seed. I need about 20 of you, come on. I want you to knock the devil out. And he said, Satan, you cannot hold my seed any longer. I'm gonna sow, I'm gonna sow. American Express, let's look for American Express. This one. Look for American Express. All right. So, so, so you, 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 you're going to sow with me tonight. Let me see the hands of those who are going to. I feel such an anointing, a wind, a wind blowing in this place. Release. Release. Too much grace is on you. You have grace on you. The devil is not going to continue to play you. It's not playing you no more. I want to, I'm number one. Can I have number two? Who, let me see who does who. Just come down, just, 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 just come down. Just come down so we just make it. Come on somebody, I just want to lay hands on you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now for a miracle. Release this into a greater harvest and success. Father, I pray a release upon your daughter for a greater harvest and success. Miracle business transaction. Business transaction in Jesus' name. I release it. I release it. And I release it big time. Something else. Something else is going to happen to you in a big way. 
hard. An opportunity coming, an opportunity. You will know what it is when it arrives because it's going to land you into a greater harvest. In Jesus' name, I release it right now. Double for your trouble. Everything you have lost, you shall redeem. I speak over your harvest, greater harvest. Ha, sha, mosiki. Namasuki, dear. I'm doing the offering, but the Holy Ghost just. Ha, sha. Come here. The Lord says to tell you the way this was done is not what I want for you. But I will not destroy you. Because I have great plans for you. I will never make you have to think that I'm a God that don't like you. But neither do you take this and glory in it so that you forget to pray and ask the Lord for forgiveness. <laughs> He said, but I'm going to work it out for your good. See, I don't know you, but he said to ask you. And I ask you, where is the baby father? Where is he? Is he here? He says, to tell you though, it's a conspiracy against the family. It's not really, he wants, it's, it's Satan hates the family. Not just your family, but his family. So everything he can do to bring about distraction. I don't know you. And he's not here, I wish he was. But this can't stop it. Said the Lord. This won't able to stop your family nor his family. He tried already and he couldn't work. Cause his family is a praying family. You all should know that you shouldn't send for me. His family was chosen by God. I don't know which church his family go. I don't know what his family do. But let me tell you something. His family knows how to pray. So what he set up as an attack, God is going to use it to bring glory at a later point. Somebody not praise the name of the oh, Somebody help me, help me through this. Help me through this. Stand still. And a matter of fact, the Lord said to tell me this is the last straw he's going to do with this family. Oh, 
where's your mother? Home. He's home. The guy is home. The mother is home. What? But I hear the Lord say war for the family. They don't even feel in it, but the family. But he said, this is the last night that I'm breaking the cycle. The cycle is broken. Why don't you open your mouth and scream up in here? Where, where is Pastor Walters? Where is Pastor Bishop? Where is my son? Oh, he's not here. permission because I've been asking for the father I've been asking for the mother and how she tell me not here not home at home that the Lord said to tell you as you give me permission and you lay hands on her belly the cycle is broken from off Did you talk to me about anything? Did you? You don't even call me. You don't care if I'm dead or alive. So, neither she does. I, I don't know how you have good children and they don't talk to you. Until they want me to preach. You, you have a nerve. Do anybody in this church have my number? see I want people to know that God still speak now she came to give her offering that's all it was and the offering stopped because God said I, 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 I put my hand on her belly and I whisper in her ears are you married and she said, no. And the Holy Ghost said, no, I give you free access. That's how, and the Lord said, as of this night, that cycle will never start again forever. So you can go ahead and start dancing now. But that cycle will never reoccur as long as you live. Oh, good God Almighty. I know I'm late tonight and I know somebody praise the name of the Lord. For somebody jump up for your pastor and, and give God the glory. It is going to be all right. Now let me tell you, it was good that you have a seed. I pray over your seed. The cycle is broken. The baby is going to be all right. Your child is going to be a profession. Full of all kind of, anything you want the child to become in his profession is going to be. Oh, somebody, doctor, nurse, lawyer, whatever it is. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Ah. My God, I feel. Don't follow the people. Don't follow when nobody say. I, 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 listen. What I did a while ago, I reverse what they say. I pray over your seed. Come on. I pray over your seed. Put your seed in. I pray over your seed. Everybody find a seed and run up here. 
and see you tomorrow night. I pray over your seed, the woman of God. I pray over your seed, the woman of God. I pray to release over your seed. I pray to release over your seed. I pray to release over your seed. I, I pray to release over my seed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, swap. who do this swap you? I pray over my seed. Come on, somebody. I prayed over your seed in Jesus' name. I pray over your seed, woman of God. There's a release. I need everybody to be fasting and praying tomorrow. Somebody, come on, praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Just pray and fast tomorrow. We're going to have the closing of a prophetic, not the conference, but a, a closing tomorrow of what God taught tonight. He's about to release on you said the Lord of us. Why don't you say praise the Lord? Jump up on your feet. Give God a praise as I hand over to to Ayabushata. Uh,